in this video we will see what is mysql and introduction to it why we should use it and what are its features so let's see mysql is one of the most popular idbms so it is based on sql that means structured query language so records are saved in the form of tables rows and columns it is one of the most popular idbms it was created by mysql ab which was a swedish company after that MySQL AB was acquired by Sun Microsystems and later on Oracle acquired Sun Microsystems. So right now MySQL is owned by Oracle. It is being used by many great IT giants you can say like Facebook, YouTube, Flickr and many other. MySQL is written in C and C++. Initially it was released by MySQL AB as I told you in the year 1995 with the version 1.0. Whenever you will install MySQL, we will see later on that how we can install MySQL. We will also install MySQL Workbench. So let us see what is MySQL Workbench. It is a UI for MySQL that is a very good graphic tool that eases your work in creating a database, tables and records and saving the records. It is like a GUI that is GUI through which you have an interface wherein you can easily create database and tables on just click of a button. Supports MySQL server versions 5.6 and higher let us now see the features features it is based on sql as i told you before it is open source that is freely available so we will see later how we can install it we just need to download it because it is open source and freely available it is friendly and compatible with php that means you can easily connect it with php and create a website create a web database and share it with others and work on it you can connect easily and manipulate databases for example, using XAMPP, you can install PHP, MySQL and as well as connect both of them, create a new database in MySQL and connect both of them using PHM admin. It is based on a client server architecture. It's very secure, flexible. It's one of the most secure database systems. It is scalable. It supports large databases. 50 million rows is a big thing or more in a table you can create. Default files, the default file size is around 4 GB, but you can easily increase it. It is also compatible with major operating systems like Windows, Mac and Linux. So guys, we have learned about MySQL, but you would be wondering how a table looks like, how everything works in MySQL. So guys, here is an example. Here we have demonstrated that MySQL has databases which has all the tables and records. So database has tables. This is our database. It is having tables. Every table is having rows in it and rows has columns. That means we have records here. So a database can have more than one table in it. So let us see an example here. So let's say we have a database employee records. Under that we have a table employee. Here we have database tables. We have let's say we have one table employee. Under that we have the records that is rows and columns. So columns here we have employee ID, first name, last name, EMP age that is employee age and EMP zone that is employee zone. So these are five columns and this is how we have represented it. So guys in this video we saw what is MySQL, why we should use it, what are the features, what is a MySQL workbench and we also saw how records gets saved in a MySQL database, what is a database. Database is a collection of tables, tables has rows and columns which saves the records.